constant innovation, unparalleled education, groundbreaking global business education you'll find only at Oxford College of Business. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. Uh, how do you look at the, uh, the current uh, state of the international team? I think the current status of the national team, I think the players are very, very talented. We have some very good senior players as well, plus some very good younger players coming through. Uh, it is unfortunate that we have lost to Zimbabwe. It was an unexpected result. Uh, I thought we'd beat them easily. But uh, I think the, the most important thing is not to panic, but to understand there are two years to a World Cup and to start building a side from, from now onwards. So that responsibility lies with the, with the two new captains. I have heard that they have been announced. Also with the selectors and with the board. Uh, the worst thing will be to panic uh, at this moment and try to make too many changes. But you need to trust the players. You need to, you need to support them a lot more and keep believing in them because uh, they are the players that are going to do a job for us. And I don't see any lack of talent or ability in this team. Uh, Kumar, we all know that you know it's, uh, we have a talented uh, group of players, but uh, but if you look at the performance, I mean they are not putting up some performances for us to win matches. So where do you think actually the issue is? Is it something to do with uh, psychological or is it uh, the, uh, their, their skills? I think I think I think uh, uh, players have to be able to perform under pressure and to get used to playing under pressure in the international uh, arena. So to do that, it is a combination of things. The psychological aspect is also very important. Uh, a lot of sites around the world uh, invest in uh, having a psychologist full-time working, a sports psychologist working full-time with their, with their players. Uh, and that is, I think, an important aspect also to look at because they are coming from a first-class system that is probably not good enough I would say definitely not good enough for them to, you know, kind of e easily uh, come into international cricket from there. So for them to adjust and mentally be ready, it might be nice to have a psychologist also working with the with the team. Uh, but about match winning performances, the team, you know, as a unit, need to perform consistently and execute their skills properly on the field to win. So sometimes, unfortunately, they don't. Now, a few, uh, uh, I, I think last year, when we beat Australia 3-0 in Sri Lanka, something that no team has done with a very, very young team. You know, from there to now, I don't think the team has become any worse. It is just that they need proper guidance and a proper plan, and they need to be told that they are the best, they need the support, they need the batting, and they need a consistent run in the side. I think if you can adjust these things and trust the players and entrust them to do their job, there is a clear pathway for us to come out of this. Uh, also, uh, when this, uh, this uh, set of uh, administrators came into power last year, I mean, uh, you were also part of them, I mean, you came in as a selector at that time, and we had uh, Arvinda. And then uh, we, we got people like uh, Graham Ford and, and you know, Michael as a captain. But uh, in recent past, we have seen a lot of people, uh, these people are distancing themselves from the, the cricket administrators. Uh, how, how do you look at that? I think I got a call very late uh, on the evening when they were supposed to send the team in for a World Cup. Aravinda called me and I agreed to come and serve for 20 days just so that the Sri Lankan uh, uh, cricket team can be sent for a World Cup. And uh, I thought that it was my, uh, my uh, duty to come and support the board at that time. Uh, with Graham Ford coming in, um, also uh, I thought he was a fantastic coach. Uh, the board has of course parted away with Graham Ford. Uh, but all of these things are administrative issues. So, as a past player or any past player, uh, no matter how much we'd love to help the game, there is a time and place for it. We can't just come and say, I want to help the game, so take me in. Uh, there is a, uh, a coach 
there is a, a administration, there is a management system for the national team, everything is in place. So sometimes, uh, at that time, if too many people come and try to give the ideas, also it can be a problem and it can be a negative thing. So it's always better to allow the people who are put in place to do a job, who are experts at their job, to do that job. And if there's anything else, past players or anyone else can contribute, then when they are asked by the administrators or asked by the coaching staff or asked by the team, then they can contribute. Now that uh, the Indians are also coming for a full tour, how do you think the Sri Lankans should prepare for uh, such a big tour like India who are the number one test team and all? I think it's going to be very, very. It's going to be a very tough tour, without any doubt. So I think the time is now. If the captain has stepped down and you're looking at a World Cup, you have to start building from now. But the responsibility right now is about how to face the Indian team. It's not about the World Cup. First, you have to play the Indians. So you have to select the best people. You have to select a side based on our wickets, based on our strengths but also strategically uh, uh, based on how the Indians play their cricket. So, uh, I think they have to, the, the selectors will, I think they have, uh, they, will, they will start naming a, a squad to face India after the Zimbabwe test match. Uh, and it is not going to be, there are no shortcuts, there are no easy ways forward. Uh, it is about uh, hard work, good planning, trust, support, and not panicking when we lose. Because if you panic when you lose, every single time you lose, the panic is going to grow and it's going to become a problem. So, you have to keep a cool head. I think the selectors, uh, the administrators, the team, the captains, everyone will have to stay calm and work together for the long term. I do for Mahir a uh, part of uh, uh, Charlie's uh, business uh, uh, management. Uh. Uh, no, uh, Mahela and I have absolutely uh, no shares or no part in uh, Austin Management Limited, which is the company that manages the players. We have no part in it. We don't get paid by it. We have never had any shares, nor would we ever take shares because that is a direct conflict of interest. Uh, and that will be uh, 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 a terrible thing for anyone in the team to do is to be part of a uh, uh, player management company that uh, looks after players. Uh, Charlie Austin, uh, Mahel and I have uh, a couple of other ventures which we partner in that has nothing to do with cricket. Uh, Mahel and I have a business uh, in the Ministry of Crab which is a restaurant. Charlie Austin has absolutely nothing to do with that business also. But there are a couple of others in the agriculture sector uh, uh, that uh, we are part of. I think uh, Charlie has other businesses also. I think Charlie, this is a big question also, you should direct at Charlie Austin and Mahela. Uh, I think they are part of a, a, a hotel management group. Again, Mahela and I have absolutely no shares in, in, a, in that hotel management group or any ownership of hotels. Uh, so, uh, there is a very, very clear distinction um, that uh, we have absolutely zero involvement, not just now, but since we started playing in Austin Management Limited, uh, uh, that manages cricketers. That means uh, no business uh, deal, dealing at all, uh, forget about the player management and, uh, and, and any other... No, I, I, no, that's what I said. In Austin Management Limited, managers, players, we have absolutely no part in it. Uh, there is Teardrop Hotel Management, I think, that uh, Charlie Austin does with uh, other directors, both local and foreign. We have, again, no part in it. Uh, there is an agriculture business uh, where Mahela, uh, myself, and Charlie uh, have a business association that is a separate agriculture business. And there is... Uh, uh, another business called Kimin uh, Power, which is a holding company that we have a uh, interest in, uh, together with Charlie Austin. But those are the only businesses we have anything to do. 
which is different from cricket, away from cricket, and absolutely not related to cricket.